WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome back, folks. You got, uh, well, welcome to the, uh, this is the Steve Rhodes, and this is the uh, 2 p.m. update. Don't worry, I'll get my uh, thoughts uh, in order here. But what I wanted to share with you is all the U.S. indices are trading to the upside. You've got the Dow up 175, the S&P 35, NASDAQ 143, Russell 40, Semi 63, Tranny's 163, New York Stock Exchange 1 and a quarter, NASDAQ Composite 179, Wilshire 5,000. 422 points out there. The spot volatility expects 65 cents. She's trading at 16.33. Gold's up four bucks. Let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. So give me a moment just to switch over to those screens because what we'll do is we'll make hay of those numbers and what are the levels that you want to be monitoring that will provide us with information. And it's really about two charts that show up here. You got eight charts, but it's the NDX 100, third over from the left up top. And if price closed above yesterday's high, that was the TD nine count high. That threshold high is currently priced at 15,729.75. That'll never change. We're printing right now at 15,742. What does a close above a TD nine count top mean when you didn't even have a hiccup? It says strong momentum move underway. Doesn't mean that price can't pull back, but uh, I would say strong momentum move to the upside. And the same is true with the socks. Now with regard to the socks, it's the high from two days ago. That high out here, that was October 26. That was 34.2790. We're at 34.25 right now. But if the SOX closes above that, that level and the NDX closes above that level, you've got breakout messages, strong momentum move messages to the upside in those two instruments. Inside the Dow, you still have a TD9 count top. Price is above its green oscillator and change line. That's really the level that it's targeting out here. And the same is true with the S&P 500. It's trying to target its oscillator and change line. In the case of the S&P 500, if it closes above the high, from two days ago. That high level is uh, 4598.53. It's off to the races out there. Uh, as I take a look at the Russell 2000, the TD9 count top, a two day wonder took price pretty much back to its breakout level at 22. 44 out there, price above its green oscillator and change line. The close above 2281 says it wants to continue to move higher. We've covered the socks. The trannies have got uh, no pattern out here of a top, although I'm sure I can find an A to B equals CD somewhere. Spot politics, nothing to look at there. You've got gold up a few bucks, $4 to speak of. The XAU is pulling back. Why? It's normal. It's natural. It's that oscillator and change line. It changes colors. And what happens is we see price and that line catch up to each other. And if we see a test and rejection of that level, folks, what you want to do is back up the truck and load up on those mining equities. Don't do it now. Wait for the test. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Folks, stay tuned. You've got two more great hours. Your favorite polar bear, David White, he's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow, 8 o'clock, 8.06 to be exact. We'll see you then.